Continuing on from the addition of the promenade today, we will be working on the harbour which sits between the promenade and the campground. As a transition piece between the two areas, a tall rock face will be built around the existing campground platform. I will be using a similar rock face building technique to the campground hiking trail. I will link that video below if you would like to see that in more detail. I will also show you how to build a rock face that works extremely well if you have narrow areas and not a lot of space a little later in this video. I firstly needed to build onto the existing rock work and extend it around the corner before adding water to the small beach cove. This is where the variety of blue colour plates is blended onto the base plate to give the impression of shallow water moving out to deeper water. Once these were placed I have used transparent light and dark blue tiles to further enhance the depth effect. The Ideas Motorised Lighthouse set already includes two small beach areas which I have now replicated with the same technique for further contrast around the base. With that now complete I continue back at the rock face. This is quite repetitive so I looked for ways to break it up and add texture and interest by adding some green areas jutting out from the wall. This was done using a combination of inverted slopes to create a flat area to add green plate and foliage. Knowing how hard it is to get water to look realistic, I looked at a lot of online images of waterfalls. However, after a very long time and 5 failed attempts, I was finally happy with how this one turned out and I'm pleased with the end result. I then carry on with the rock work on the right hand side of the waterfall. To hide the square platform and create a larger area for the A-frame cabin above, the rock face is brought out away from the platform. For more detail, I incorporate a small cave in the bottom corner. To add more interest and a place for the campground travellers to take in the harbour view, a lookout built into the rock face is another way of adding some contrast and visual interest against all of the dark grey. With that now placed, here's a look at how the rock wall can be built in a very narrow area. The best part about this technique is that it leaves only a 1-2 to two stud footprint on the base plate depending on what slope you start with. That not only means you can fit a rock wall into a very narrow area, but it leaves maximum space in the foreground. You can customise the height to suit your own needs. Another advantage is how fast it is to get a lot of height without using a lot of parts. Let me know in the comments below if this is a technique you've already used or this idea is something you'll be able to add into your own layout. I then move on to filling in the remaining gaps with more rock work before continuing the ocean.
After a few adjustments, the finishing touches are added along with the minifigures to bring it to life. And as usual, the most satisfying part, the before and after shots. Next update, we'll be adding the main beach directly in front of the promenade. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's update and I hope to see you all again in the next one.